How y'all doing today? Pretty good. My name is Jerry Wilson. I'm Vice President of the Youth Council, Head Captain of the Oppressed People's Nation Youth Council. And um, today, y'all really, y'all really trust me. Y'all really touched my heart because I see so much support. That, that's my whole fight. I just need the support. I just want support. I just want the participation from the people. I want the people of the community to see us. I want the people of the community to give us gratitude and give us accolades and the stuff that we earn because we out here every day. We out here helping the people. We out here with free school supplies, free books. We out here with the free knowledge. We, we are really out here. We need more people like y'all. For real. Can, can y'all just clap it up for yourself, please? Please clap it up for yourself. I thank y'all for coming out here because I see that y'all have not forgot about East Cleveland. I see y'all still right here trying to hold East Cleveland down, and that's what us young youth need. I mean, that's what I know people in Chambers, the young kids in Chambers, the young kids in Maker. That's what they need because now my generation, we don't know how we supposed to teach them. We need y'all to come back so we can learn, so we can teach them, so this can stop. I mean, just look, just look at our community. I mean, for right now, it looks clean. But in the next week, just like Ernest said, it's going to be messed back up. I stay on Gainesville, right here off Hayden. And they don't do the best to cut that grass. They have cut the grass. They don't put their 100% no more in the community. Don't nobody put 100% no more in the community. That's what I want. I want people to put 100% in the community. Let's really build a society. Because right now, we're not a society. we just individuals that's living in the structure built by the government. We're not no society. I want a society. I want a group of people that actually have meetings, that actually goes to the city hall, that actually invest into our time, effort, and education. They, we, we don't have nothing like that no more. It's too bad we out here fending for ourselves. We, we're young kids and we out here fending for ourselves. And all of it's not your blame. The government has a lot of blame on it too. Just like we have a lot of blame too because when y'all expect for us to go to school, we, we gotta go to school. When y'all expect for us to do our chores around the house, we do our chores around the house because Little does they know, that just helps us build. That just makes us into a bigger character to what we already is. I, I got a mother, a single parent mother. I got two younger brothers, I'm the oldest. Most of my time, if I'm not with Oppressed People Nation, I'm helping my little brothers. I'm trying to build a family, because I know they don't have no father. Well, ain't no, my mother doesn't have the funds to go get their hair cut, so I have to cut their hair. This is, we have to just like, the roads fix, the roads messed up, we have to fix them. Just like we got in yards, the trees, and rubbish all over the floor, we have to fix it. We got to start changing to our minds that we have to fix it, not nobody else. We have to fix it. We have to get on them to make them do it. It's not, they, they trying to make us do something that we don't want to do. They trying to make us be in a civilization that's not good. This is not healthy. We, we see, um, what's that, roadkill all over the street. Um, the, the, um, it wasn't no crime really last month in East Cleveland. But since it wasn't no crime, the police wanted to have fun and just execute dogs. That's what they was doing. They was executing dogs right there on Hayden. Um, right there on Sean Hayden. They shot a dog 13 times. They shot a dog 13 times. And, dog was still up. They shot a dog 13 times. I stay on Gainesboro. They shot a dog right there. They've been going around just shooting dogs. Well, to me, these people need to invest into a dog pound because they're doing inhumane stuff. They just dog, they just shooting dogs and then throwing them in the trash can. I mean, what kind of stuff is that? That's that's what our community has came to. That, that's how we get rid of, of a pestilence. We just shoot it and kill it and then throw it away in the trash and then leave the trash man for that responsibility. They have to pick up a dead corpse. That's not right. I mean, I know they get paid to pick up trash, but they don't get paid to pick up dead corpse. That's, that's inhumane. That's all I want to say. I'm, I'm, I'm thank y'all for the support and everything. And just cap it up one more time.